welcome to a Miller online tutorial now let us look at this equation that x raised to the power of 3 equals negative 8 now to start with and the best way we can probably start solving this is to bring negative 8 to the left hand side and the expression or equation will become a x to the power of 3 plus 8 then equals 0 all right to simplify further this can be written as 2 raised to the power of 3 then equals 0. Now we actually reduce a to the base of 2 and as that 8 raised to the power of 3 I mean 2 raised to the power of 3 will give us 8. Now and according to an algebraic expression rule I see if we have a raised to the power of 3 which is the sum of uh, two cubes now this will give us a plus b now into a uh, minus a b plus b square sorry all right okay so to so disregard now you can see that this algebraic expression is the same as that of uh, the equation we've just gotten okay so it implies that x raised to the power of 3 plus 2 raised to the power of 3 following this expression here we will see that we have that x plus 2 into x raised to the power of 2 then minus now here is meant to be x2 and x2 is the same thing as saying 2x so we can put it as 2x this is just to ensure that uh, the equation is more presentable as an equation then plus then our b square here since our b is 2 then the square of it will give us what 4 then take note that all the equation i mean equals 0 so to this now we can now see that x plus 2 equals 0 equation 1 and x square minus 2x plus 4 equals 0 now from the first equation here we can see that x equals to negative 2 right now by looking at this now we can't actually factorize when looking at it because no two factor that you add to give you 2 and you multiply to give you a positive uh, 4 and the reason is here the sum is having a negative uh, uh, negative sign so as uh, so there's no two factors that you multiply having a negative sign that will give you a positive uh, answer that is no no okay because every negative times positive will give us what negative all right so to that regard now we're going to use a quadratic uh, formula or the quadratic equation formula so here we have that that will be b negative b plus or minus the square root of b square the minus 4ac all over 2a okay now and using this now and take note from here now we can actually represent our b here now looking at this now this equation here which is similar to ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero so let me just put it down here x squared minus 2x plus c equals what plus 4 rather equals to 0 so to this regard now you can see that our a here equals 1 then our b here equals negative 2 and our c here equals 4 now let us now plug in the value of a b c into this equation so here we have negative b our b is also negative 2 so minus 2 then plus or minus now the square root now b square which is negative 2 all square they are minus 4 times our a is 1 times 4 which is our c take note all all over 2 times a and our a is what 1 so to this regard, negative times negative give us a positive. So here you have 2, now plus or minus the square root of 
negative 3 to the power of 2 give us what? 4. Then minus 2 times 1, I mean 4 times 1 times 4 give us 16. Or over 2. Okay, so here you have 2 plus 1. Now 4 minus uh, 16 will give us uh, negative 12 all over what? 2. Okay, now let us now find the value of, uh, this, I mean the square root of negative 12. Now let us recall that according to the law of sword, when you have a number, definitely it's hard, it must have uh, two factors. This can also be expressed as a, the square root of A times the square root of what? B, right? Now if this is true, now we can also come here and see now the two factors that we'll be having here now are most likely three factors, which is, since it is 12, we can have negative 12, this will be negative 1 times 4 times 3, okay? So, and it's also applied with this rule. So we can see here 2 plus or minus. Now for this, for negative 1, we have the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Then all over 2. Okay? Now, and let us note that the square root of negative 1 equals i. Okay? So, to that regard, and the square root of 4, it is 2. So, here you have 2 plus or minus i times 2, right? Then, times root 3 all over 2. Okay, we can rearrange this by saying 2 plus or minus 2i, the square root of what, 3, all over 2. Now, from here, now, we can see that we have 2 as a factor, common factor between 2 and this uh, imaginary number. So, if we factor out 2, this will give us 2 into 1, then plus or minus i, the square root of 3, all over 2. Now, we can now eliminate this. So, at the end of the day, x will give us 1, plus or minus i the square root of what three okay now which implies that x equals one plus i the square root of three one minus i the square root of three or let's come back here that i goes to negative two so these are the values of x for the equation all right if you love what i've just done can you subscribe to my youtube channel and ensure you click on the notification button to be notified of all my videos. Thank you and God bless you.